can you tell us about your character in the final ten episodes? Tell you that uh, I can't tell you anything. Um, <laughs> I can tell you that they're um, this along with you know every other character. We're probably gonna get pretty general answers. You know, we can't give anything away, but. You're just gonna get to see all of our storylines wrap up. You know, you're you're gonna get to see like our last kind of final arcs. Each of us. You know, I think my character's arc in this last season is is great, and I think that you're gonna get to, you're actually gonna get to see really where I wanted my character to end up. You know, you kind of I've grown up alongside the writers. You know, with my character, and we've all kind of had back and forth about what the character should be and this and that and. Obviously, they know best, but some of my input was implemented, and um, I just really am happy with with where Liam is, and it's where I wanted him to be. It's I got to really play what I wanted to play this season, um, which is you know all I could ask for, and I think that um, I think that it's just a really well done season. I think we had no choice but to do it really right because it's the end of it. You know what I mean? Um, you get, you don't get to see him like literally be the alpha, you know what I mean? But you get to see him going in those footsteps. You know, I think every season is like a little inch up of him becoming the person to take the throne. You know what I mean? Um, so you're just gonna see, you get to see my character be more uh, uh, have more responsibility. And I think that that's kind of more so what you're going to see. But um, my character has a lot of responsibility this season, a lot of things that he has to do in, um, in order to make sure everyone's safe. And I think that every season Scott puts more um, responsibility on him. And I think that um, it's going to be fucking cool. A lot of fans really like uh, Liam and Hayden together. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how that press is at all? Um, wait, so, sorry, say that again? Liam and Hayden? Yeah. Yeah. How is that going to move forward? Oh, um, well, we don't see too much of Hayden this season because she's, uh, her character's moved away, the classic move away, um, <laughs> to London or something like that. But, um, I don't know, you don't, you don't get to see too much of, of us do anything, you know, it's, it's kind of like... This last season, Liam's on his own. Um, you know, they've. We don't really specify um, what's happened between us too much, but um, I'm dragging this question on. You don't. You don't get to see too much from us from those two characters. I wish you did, but you don't. Um, so if Liam now could give Liam then advice, what do you think that would be? <laughs> um, don't be so angry. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think. I think Liam now would just tell Liam then that you're doing all the right stuff, you know. There's there's really no one answer for getting through what you have to get through. Um, but you, you did it right, you know. You couldn't, there's no way to not make mistakes. There's no way to, to do everything perfectly. So just keep trying to do everything to the best of your abilities. Um, especially with the crazy circumstances that all these characters are under. Definitely more humor in the first three episodes of 60 for people that have seen them, seen yeah. the screeners. Um, what was that like to be able to be funny? It was great. I mean, we kind of, uh, in 6A, we got to do a little bit of that. You know, I got to do some funny stuff with Cody. And I think that really kind of kicked it off in terms of, you know, the writers and the producers saw the response from uh, the fans that they liked that dynamic and they liked the comedy. Um, so it was great to, to, to get to do that again in 6B, and um, I love doing comedy, you know, I didn't really know it, I thought I really liked, I still really like um, drama and seriousness, but I really like comedy too, and it's something that I actually enjoy doing and that hopefully I'm good at. Um, so I'm, I think that there's a, you know, as the seasons get to the end, it kind of gets more serious, obviously, because shit starts hitting the fan. But, um... Those first couple of episodes were just really fun to do because it's always lighter, um, and I, you know, hopefully that doing those 
scenes and those comedic scenes will give me kind of a push to do other comedic things in my career. Um, and it kind of gave me a little kickstart in that. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, I keep... Um, I'm trying to remember what the hell are you talking about. I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's, okay. it's been it's been a blur. Um, in Tyler's episode. Oh, in Tyler's episode. Yeah, that was intense. Um, he, there actually was a lot. That was, you know, those. It's kind of like a daily, a day by day thing, you know. The, the day before was fine. The day after is fine. But that day we were filming a lot of that intense stuff in Tyler's episode, you know, it's kind of just very, you get very to yourself and you kind of have to pull yourself back and kind of get in this place, you know, um, cause you have these little spurts of time where it's like, this is a really Im important time to be serious and to work. You know what I mean? Those were, that was one of those days where it's like, you really got to work hard and you know, you can joke around here and there, but you know, this is some intense stuff that you kind of have to be mentally focused for. Um, but I had fun doing it, you know, it's, those things are fun to play. Thank you so much.